So we are ready to launch Audio Architect for the first time. Before we do that, we have to make sure that our speakers are connected to power, first of all, and to the network uh, using a LAN cable. I have already done that, so I will continue by double-clicking the Audio Architect shortcut. So we are seeing this um, prompt, and you don't need to keep this checked, just uncheck it, close, and now we see this other uh, prompt asking us to add a connection. The connection we need to add is the Wi-Fi connection. Just select Wi-Fi and click Add Connection. Okay, that's done. Now, because the software requires a lot of um, real estate um, on your screen, the text is going to be quite small. So what you can do is type magnifier. Here it is, the magnifier app. And here you can zoom in a little bit enough for you to be able to see the text general settings okay so here it's showing us that the connection is already been uh, added now we go to network settings and you will see this uh, section called discovered devices and there's a square here that says add discovered devices to the venue automatically select that and now it says Below that, automatically navigate to run venue mode. Select that as well. Now the third um, square says, do not show discovered devices pop-up window. I don't know that that's a good idea for now. Let's just leave it unchecked because this may be a useful confirmation for you um, while you get accustomed to the software. So we've done this. We can now just click OK. Let's uh, zoom out. And now Audio Architect has become active. The application is, is up and running. And we see immediately that the software has detected two speakers, but matched zero, synchronized zero, and added zero to the venue. So, what we do from here is we go to Add Devices. And in Add Devices, we have to click Refresh. So this is the prompt. <coughs> it's telling us that devices have been discovered. You want to add them to the menu automatically. These are the options we chose when we first launched the app. And we have a choice of not showing this pop-up again. Just leave it unchecked for now. Click Close. And here are the two uh, SRXs. Uh, let's bring them to the center of the screen. That's it. And uh, that's that. It's done. Uh, if you want to open the controls for this speaker here it is you can open the controls for the other one here it is and uh, because as i said the text is very tiny you will need to use the magnifier app you can uh, set the increments uh, i've set it to increments of 25 percent and that's enough for me here you can see the controls so we have successfully launched Audio Architect for the first time. On another video, I will explain how to use these controls. That's it.